Question number 121. You have an Azure Cognitive Services model named Model 1 that identifies the intent of text input. You develop an app in C Sharp named App 1. You need to configure App 1 to use Model 1. Which package should you add to App 1? Option A Universal dot Microsoft dot cognitive services dot speech option b speech services toolkit option c azure dot ai dot language dot conversations option d xamarin dot cognitive dot speech correct answer is option c azure dot ai dot language.conversations The azure.ai.language.conversations package is designed for apps that interact with Azure Cognitive Services for language, specifically for conversational language understanding, including intent recognition. Since Model 1 is used to identify intents from text, this is the most appropriate and minimal package required for the C-Sharp app to integrate with Model 1. Question number 122. You have a language service resource that performs the following. Sentiment analysis named Entity Recognition NER Personally Identifiable Information PII identification. You need to prevent the resource from persisting input data once the data is analyzed. Which query parameter in the language service API should you configure? Option A model version. Option B PII categories. Option C show stats. Option D logging opt out the correct answer is option d logging opt out logging opt out query parameter is used to prevent azure language service from storing or logging input data after analysis this is important when handling sensitive contents like pii or user inputs that must remain private. Setting this parameter to true ensures data privacy by opting out of diagnostic data logging. Question number 123. You have a library that contains thousands of images. You need to tag the images as photographs, drawing or clip art. Which service endpoint should you use? Option A. Computer Vision Analyze Images Option B. Computer Vision Object Detection Option C. Custom Vision Image Classification Option D. Custom Vision Object Detection The correct answer is Option C. Custom Vision Image Classification Custom Vision Image Classification is the appropriate service when you need to tag images into specific custom-defined categories like photographs, drawing, or clip art. Unlike generic computer vision services, which provide predefined tags, Custom Vision allows you to train a model with your own labels and then classify new images accordingly. Question number 124. You have a library that contains thousands of images. You need to tag the images as photographs, drawings, or clip art. Which response property should you use? Option A, categories. Option B, description. Option C, image type. Option D, metadata. 
option E, objects. The correct answer is option C, image type. The image type property in the response from services like computer vision can help identify the general type of image, such as whether it is a photograph, drawing, or clip art. This property provides relevant categorization based on the content analysis, which fits your need for tagging images by type. Other response properties such as categories, description, metadata or object might be more focused on different aspects of the image but won't directly give the type classification. Question number 125. You need to build a solution that will use Optical Character Recognition OCR to scan sensitive documents by using the Computer Vision API. The solution must not be deployed to the public cloud. What should you do? Option A, build an on-premises web app to query the computer vision endpoint. Option B, host the computer vision endpoint in a container on an on-premises server. Option C, host an exported open neural network exchange ONNX model on an on-premises server. Option D, build an Azure web app to query the computer vision endpoint. The correct answer is option B, host the computer vision endpoint in a container on an on-premises server. To meet the requirement of not deploying to the public cloud, Hosting the computer vision endpoint in a container on an on-premises server is the best solution. Microsoft provides containerized version of its cognitive services, including computer vision, which can be deployed locally. This allows the solution to leverage OCR capabilities while keeping sensitive data within a private environment ensuring compliance and data privacy. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 126. You are developing the Shopping on the Go project. You need to build the adaptive card for the chatbot. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A Option B Option C Option D. The correct answer is Option D. This syntax allows you to dynamically reference the appropriate name field based on the language variable. This ensures that the correct localized name is displayed in the adaptive card. Question number 127. You are developing the shopping on the go project. You need to build the adaptive card for the chatbot. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A Option B Option C the correct answer is option A. This syntax ensures that the text block for the stock level is only displayed when the stock level is not OK. This is useful for highlighting issues with stock levels that need attention. Question number 128. You are developing the shopping on the Go project. 
you need to build the adaptive card for the chatbot. You need to complete the following code. Which value should you choose for placeholder tree? Option A, Option B, Option C, Option D. The correct answer is Option D. This syntax allows you to dynamically reference the appropriate alt text based on the language variable. This ensures that the correct localized alt text is displayed in the adaptive card. Question number 129. You are building a multilingual chatbot. You need to send a different answer for positive and negative messages. Which two language service APIs should you use? Option A. Linked entities from a well-known knowledge base. Option B. Sentiment analysis. Option C. Key phrases. Option D. Detect language. Option E. Named entity recognition. The correct answers are Option B. Sentiment analysis. Option D. Detect language. Sentiment analysis help you determine if a message has a positive or negative sentiment, which is necessary for sending different answers based on the tone of the message. Detect language is useful in a multilingual chatbot to identify the language of the incoming message, enabling the bot to respond appropriately in the correct language. Question number 130. You are building a language model by using a language understanding classic service. You create a new language understanding classic resource. You need to add more contributors. What should you use? Option A, a conditional access policy in Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Azure AD part of Microsoft Intra. Option B, the access control, IAM base for the authoring resources in the Azure portal. Option C, the access control, IAM base for the prediction resources in the Azure portal. The correct answer is option B, the access control, IAM pays for the authoring resources in the Azure portal. To add more contributors to a language understanding classic service, you should use the access control IAM pays for the authoring resources in the Azure portal. This is where you manage user roles and permissions related to the creation, training and management of language models in the authoring environment. The prediction resource is used for making predictions with a trained model, but you need to modify roles for the authoring resources when adding contributors to the development process. Question number 131. 